Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. It's been a while since I've worked on anything other than my garage and I wanna jump on working on a car. So today we're doing some mods to the C6. So let's jump right into it. the channel thanks for stopping by if you're a long time subscriber always good to have you back just a friendly reminder only a couple days left to enter in to win some sonic tools over four thousand dollars of sonic tools i'm giving away so all you got to do is leave a comment that's one entry make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you want more details on how to get more entries hit the link down below but basically if you buy a gas tax hat hoodie or shirt you get three times the entries per dollar spent Anyways, let's show you what I'm working on today. So right here on the workbench, there is a bunch of different things and on the floor. I don't know if I can get to everything today, but I'm gonna start with doing the steering wheel. I got a steering wheel upgrade, nice little uh, design grip. I think it'll match the interior great. I have some uh, hood gas struts to replace because those ones are bad. Then I got this super big wing from uh, APR, I love that, it's gonna fit nicely on the back. Then I got these toe eyes for when I do track days, hopefully I never use them, but they should look cool. And then I have a front splitter that we need to install. But basically, the order I told you those are the order I'm going to tackle these projects. As far as I get, that's how far I get. But anyways, let's jump into replacing the steering wheel. So first thing you wanna do when you replace the steering wheel is unhook the battery. I actually did that last night. There's a capacitor apparently in the airbag system, so you don't want that to explode. Another good thing is never stand here when removing the airbag in case there's a secondary battery and it punches you in the face. But there's two little holes on the back here where you stick in a little tool and then the airbag pops out. Then we gotta remove the steering wheel and uh, I guess replace some of these things. Alrighty, airbag is out. Let me just show you what you're trying to do. When you stick your screwdriver in the side hole here, you are trying to move these pins, if you see that. So this moves and then it unlatches the hooks, these little hooks right here. So anyways, let's remove the steering wheel and then see what we're working with. All right guys, steering wheel is off. You just take that one uh, center bolt out and you just wiggle it like this and then it pops right off. So now to take all of these components and put them onto this steering wheel uh, so we can see how it looks. Well, there you have it, guys. It's looking good. The carbon fiber is obviously faux carbon fiber. It's a bigger weave than this faux carbon fiber, but I think it does a nice complement. There's a link down below for obviously that steering wheel on eBay. I think it's $249. If you want it, check it out. Now let's replace the gas shocks on the front because I need this open on track days to let the engine cool down. And last time I was there, I had to jam something in there because this thing kept getting blown down by the wind. project out of the way those really needed to be replaced when I removed that one to replace it the old one here couldn't even hold up the hood uh, and then when I removed this one with the new one there it would hold up fine but even right here halfway so it much better I don't think the wind's blowing that over easy jobs out of the way fun job next we're gonna do the wing so these are all the parts I'm gonna read the instructions at each step, I will let you know what I'm doing, but we gotta drill some holes in the hood. Uh, keep in mind, uh, battery's still unplugged, so I left this wedge here so I can work with this down. Uh, I guess I could hook up the battery, but there's no reason to right now. Uh, I believe the holes get drilled right here and here. 
So let me mock up the trunk and I'll check in with you in a bit. All right, so, so far pretty easy. Just uh, put some painter's tape down. Here are the brackets that I need to mark uh, where I want to drill some holes. The biggest thing is you got to line up with this edge and not this edge. If it was this edge, it would be like that. So it's like this edge right here. So I'm going to try and make these as equal as possible. Mark out the holes and see where it goes. Damn, look at all those scratches. Woo wee! This baby needs a polish. The holes are drilled. We got three here, three there. Let's see what the next step is. And I think it's pretty simple. Let me fill you in. So obviously you can see the holes on the inside. Over here, I have loosely fitted one of the brackets. You got the bracket, you got your carbon fiber top piece, you got a rubber gasket, and then you got a backing plate. It's not tight yet. They don't want you to tight it, just like everything until everything's together. But here are the pieces broken out. You have these, you got a thread in there. Then you got the rubber gas, oh, then you got the mounting bracket. Then you got the rubber gasket, and then you got the backing plate. So I'm gonna tighten this down a little, install this one, and check in with you then. One thing that is a bit weird is this bracket, the backing plate sticks out a bit far, so I may have to shave that down later. <laughs> it's, nah, it's just lower than the roof. Looking good. Alrighty, next up, uh, let's lift the car and see if we can install these babies. I don't know which is the front, which is the rear. I gotta look online and see which is which so we can install those. Well, my lift sat outside for about two months while I was doing this garage and it's a little squeaky. So this pad's just sliding along here. So I think I just need to put a dollop of grease on there. I lied to you. I'm actually gonna call it a day because this needs uh, to install this. The whole bumper needs to be removed, and then I need to use these rib nuts. And apparently, it's the pain in the butt. And then, if the bumper is removing, then I'm not gonna do that quite yet because I have to remove the bumper. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. I will do a video on those things later. Those will probably be together because it's the front bumper. But if you like anything you saw in this video, there's a link down below. Every time you purchase from those links, it supports the channel. So thanks a lot. But for now, I'm gonna take this baby for a spin. Maybe hit uh, an auto part store, see if I can get some better gas shocks for the back there. But thanks again, as always, for tuning in. Be sure to leave a comment below because that's your entry to win some Sonic Tools. But until next time, guys, I'll see you then.